In this video, I'll be taking some more examples uh, to find initial BFS using VAMS method. So let me take this as example one. And this video is in continuation with my previous video that I've made on Vogel's approximation method. So kindly go through with that video to uh, understand what is VAM method. Now here we have again uh, a transportation problem with three sources and four destination, and it is a balanced transportation problem as you can see that the summation of supply and the sum of the demand that is equal. Now we want to apply Vogel's approximation method. So let me do first quickly again make the cost right aligned and then I'm going to uh, calculate the penalties because we are applying the uh, Vogel's approximation method. Okay, so here are these cost and let's, th this is the supply and we have the demand as 250, 350, 400 and we got 200. Okay, so the first penalty that we calculate here is corresponding to row and then we also calculate corresponding to columns. In the row, the least cost is 1 and the next least cost is 3. So the penalty is 2, the difference between these two. In the next row, the least is 2 and the next least is 5. So the difference between these two is 3. In the third row, the least is 2 and the next least is 3. So the difference is 1. In the column, uh, the least is 2 and the next least is 3. In the next column, 1 and 3. So the difference is 2. In the next column, 3 and 5. So this is 2. In the next, 2 and 4. So the difference is 2. And we can see the highest penalty is corresponding to this one. So this is highest penalty and this occurs in a row. So in that row, what is the least cost? This is the least cost. 2 is the least cost. So this is where I want to first allocate. And how much I want to allocate is the minimum of uh, demand and supply. So this will go 250 will go here. Once we say that this 250 will go here. So this means this has exhausted this uh, cost, this whole column. So 250 is gone. And here we are remaining with the quantity 150. So 150 is remaining here in that case. Now again, let's calculate the penalties and repeat, we repeat this process. So in the first row, now the least is 1 and the next least is 4 because th uh, this first column is completely now uh, crossed off. So 1 and 4, the difference is 3. And in the next case, it is 5 and 6, the difference is 1. In the next case, it is 2 and 3, it is 1. The first column, I'm just putting a dash because this has been exhausted off. In this case, there is no change in the entry, so the penalties will remain as it is. Now again, the highest penalty is corresponding to this particular row, the first row. This is the 3, which is the highest penalty. And in that particular, this is 1 is the least cost. So I'm going to allocate here this quantity, and which is going to be again a minimum of 300 and 350. So this 300 will come here. And once this 300 will come here, this means this 300 is gone. And here I'm left with a quantity 50. And also it is going to exhaust my other uh, first row entries. So now I'm going to again repeat this whole process. Now this is gone and in the second row the penalties uh, would be again least and next least that is 5 and 6. So this is 1, 2 and 3 it's 1. This is gone. Now the difference of 3 and 6 the remaining cost that is 3, 3 and 5 that is 2. 2 and 9 so that gives me 9 minus 2 this is 7 and we see here very clearly the highest penalty is now in the row we have to always see row and column that particular step row and column always together so now the penalty is 7 and the least cost is 2 so i'm going to allocate now here and here the minimum of 200 and 500 so this 200 will go here and this means now this 200 is gone and the remaining here is 300. So once this 300 is here and I'm also going to exhaust the particular column. So keep on exhausting these rows and also keep on subtracting these uh, remaining quantity from supply and the demand. So if we don't do this, so sometimes there's a possibility that we might end up with a calculation mistake. Okay, so now repeat the process again. So six and five, the penalty is one. Now in this case, the least is 3 and the next least is 3. So again, the penalty here is 0 because the difference between the last two is 0. In this case, this is 3. Here it is 2 and this penalty is gone. Now again, compare the highest penalty is now in the column. So the corresponding to this 3, 
which means corresponding to this three that's the least cost so i'm going to allocate a 50 and 300 so the least quantity here is my 50 so once we do this 50 here this means what is exhausted here now this particular column is exhausted and this 50 is also fully gone and here we are left with the quantity because uh, 200 was already gone and then we have taken 50 more so what is left out is 250 so the remaining quantity left out is 250 further now in that last row and column if this is the last row the only choice we have for this 150 and 200 is to send them into this entries so let's send them into the corresponding entry 150 will come here and 250 will come here so we don't calculate penalties in the last row and last column remaining step we can directly put and this is the uh, initial bfs and we always know that the count of initial bfs should be m plus n minus one basic cells these are my basic cells again and these are the entries so what are the entries here x12 is 300 x21 that is 250 x22 this is 150 and then we got x31 that is 50 sorry that's 32 and then we got x33 this is 250 and we have x34 that is 200 and we can find the corresponding z corresponding z is nothing but we multiply the allocation with the corresponding cost so once we multiply allocation with the corresponding cost we get the value for z so that's 250 into 3 and the last entry that is 200 into 2 so that's the z at initial bfs that we have calculated using the vogel's approximation method let's do one more example uh, to see if we arrive at some uh, other calculations now in this case we have three sources and three destination and here i guess there are some degeneracies coming going to come up in this question so i've considered this question let's see now so we got two one four these are the cost six three two and then we got four two three and supply available is 10 20 10 this is 10 15 15 and we can always check that this is a balanced transportation problem for unbalanced problems i can again take a problem uh, in the next video but currently it's a balanced transportation problem now we want to calculate the penalties to start from the Vogel's approximation method. In the first row, the least is 1 and the next least is 2. So the penalty is 1. In the next row, again the penalty is 1 because it is a difference of 2 and 3. In the third row also the penalty is 1. You see there is a lot of tie in the penalty. In the column wise, the penalty is 2 and 4. So this is 2. Here the penalties are and in the second column so this is one and two and then in the third it is two and three this is one so the highest penalty again occurs in the uh, column and in that case <clears throat> we got this two so we have this 10 here but we observe that this 10 actually allocate this supply and this both so this means it is going to exhaust this both a row and a column and i have already done this sort of example while I have done least cost method in northwest that if we exhaust uh, this row and column simultaneously then the number of basic cells turns out to be one less than the required so we'll see this and that means these two penalties are gone now let's see again this is one this is one this is one this is one the difference between least and next least is there is again a lot of tie and we can choose any two if we choose this one this is the least cost if we choose this one then also this is the least cost if we choose this one then this is the least and if we choose this one then also this is the least cost so whichever way whichever two we want to select suppose if we select this two so in that case uh, 15 and 20 i'm going to first allocate a 15 here once we allocate this 15 here this uh, is gone and here i'm left with the quantity 5 so then we allocate the remaining 5 unit here and the remaining 10 unit here so we see here the number of basic cells the number of basic cells is less than m plus n minus 1 here the number of sources are 3 
and the number of uh, destinations are also 3 minus 1 so 3 plus 6 minus 1 so this means 5 so there should be 5 basic cells but in this question in this example we got 4 basic cells so this clearly implies that this BFS is actually a degenerate so there is one basic variable which is degenerate which is taking the value 0 but we can't identify here now so if we only want to find initial BFS this is fine but if the question asks us specifically calculate which is a degenerate so we need to identify which basic variable was there so to so now we can say to identify to identify all basic variables uh, including degenerate including degenerate that means degenerate that means corresponding to the basic variable which takes the value 0 so I'm going to redo this question and in that case I'm going to repeat the process as I did in northwest and least cost also so this is 6 3 2 4 2 3 and here is my supply and here is the demand so we calculate in the similar manner calculate the penalties and here also we calculate the penalty okay so the first penalties will remain same i am quickly writing now the penalties so that was the first step penalty and we wanted to again select this case so this is the highest and we want to allocate here this was the 10 so now we don't cut here the all uh, both row and column i may cut either the column or maybe the row so suppose if i cut this column so here i'm left with the quantity zero or if you cut the row then uh, in the column you leave a quantity zero and then you repeat the uh, the penalty process so in the first row this is one and four so now the penalty changes because of my stock of criteria because i have struck off a column so the penalty is like this and in this case 3 and 2 the penalty is 1 then next 1 and 1 and 2 the penalty is 1 2 and 3 the penalty is 1 the highest penalty occurs corresponding to now this 5 and in this 5 the least cost cell is this one and here I want to allocate now quantity which is 0 and 15 so this 0 will come here once this 0 comes here this means now this 0 is also gone and I'm here left with 15 only because only 15 minus 0 is 15 and then we repeat the process and then if we repeat the process again the penalties are 1 and here also the penalties are 1 so we follow up that this quantity is going to be uh, uh, this quantity is going to be 15 so that's the minimum of by the similar criteria that's the minimum of this 15 and 20 so that exhaust are this column and I am here left with this case. I am left here with the quantity 5. So this 5 will come in this cell. And here this will come 10. So the remaining uh, quantities are same. So you see here. We got now x11 is 10. x12 is 0. x22 is 5. x23 is 15. And x32 is 10. So we got. We got m plus n minus 1 basic variables or basic cells so we got this much so the and accordingly we can calculate the value for z also now z is nothing but z is 10 into 2 plus 5 into 3 plus 15 into 2 plus 10 into 5 the quantity which is corresponding to plus 0 into 1 doesn't matter whether we write or not so that's the quantity corresponding to z initial bfs so we can calculate what is this quantity and that's the value for z